welcome back to Fantastic Me, and we're over here with one of our friends, Kenny. Um, and, you know, I'm not even sure how we pronounce the name, but I think it's Provence. Uh, several different uh, pronunciations, Provenance, Provence. It all depends on your, uh, your accent and your pronunciation of it. Okay, so I, was, I was, guess I was close. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna let you, this is the one um, winery where I was showing you guys where I got this rec very reasonable Cabernet Sauvignon at Costco and we're actually at the winery. I remember being here about a couple years ago and you guys had a Cabernet from How Mountain, Mountain, which was one of my favorites. And I forgot where I actually tried that and How Mountain is one of my uh, favorites because that's just my style. It's very smooth. I'm not looking for bold. I'm not looking for pepper. It's just very, very nice, very friendly. And uh, you know, anyone can drink it. Uh, someone who's been drinking wine for a long time and or somebody who's new to wine can actually drink it just as well that's it's very easy to drink so we're gonna let kenny see if what he wants what he's gonna pour for us soon <laughs> start off with uh, sauvignon blanc rosé or you want to go straight to reds oh let's go straight to reds yeah thank you sir we're here for the real stuff <laughs> Kenny's been in the industry for a while himself. So best of the best barrels, easy drinking, little dark chocolate taste, a little bit of dust, a little bit of oak, all from here, regional exclusive here in London. Wow. This is definitely a little bit of peppery, a little cigar box on this one. Now, what's, what, how, what, what style would you call this? Would it be a French style, a California style? Uh, we're Bordeaux style. Bordeaux, this is very, yeah, this is very Bordeaux. Yeah, Bordeaux. What year was this? 2016. Now, this 16 is still, I think it needs to open up a little bit. Either that or use the decanter. <laughs> but, you know, if you let it age a little bit, it's going to be... It's gonna bring all the all the extra flavor in it. Ooh. And some people come to uh, Napa Valley to try it. specifically this kind of Cabernet Sauvignon. Bold, a little peppery, uh, a little cigar box. Well, lots of cigar box. Uh, this is gonna lose some of that pepper as it ages. Hmm. Cheers to Kenny and happy in, 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 in the new year. Happy in the new year. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna do a little Cabernet Franc 2016. 90% of it's Cabernet Franc, 8% Cabernet Sauvignon, 2% Merlot. So, crazy balance in there, very easy drinking. Pepper, spices, bell peppers. That's that on the pepper side. Oh, I like that. I like bell Go peppers. Too. Very delicious. This is the perfect one for a steak then. Mm -hmm. With the bell peppers and everything. Oh, yeah. See, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you normally pair your, your wine with, Kenny? Like a nice um, cab. Me personally, uh mm. I just drink it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if I want to pair with food, definitely a nice little steak, uh, tri tip or tri -tip. New York steak, mm. something very drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a lot like the other one, but it's a little smoother. And is this the same year? Hmm. I don't know if it's my nose today, but I'm not getting much on the nose. There's a little light berry in it. Wow, it's nicely structured. I mean, I, this, this, I think if this was aged, it'd be very, very pleasant. I yes. like it. How long do you know, would you normally age one of these? Uh, so our wines generally, we're, uh, we design our wines to either drink now or lay down for 30 years. Okay, so either drink it now or lay it down for 30 years. The more bond, the more bottles you take, the more you can lay down. Yeah. <laughs> if you want if you want the people that like to age your wine, you definitely you just lay the, these bad boys down, let them sit there, and go 
open them up 10 years from now and see how it changed. I used to tell my customers, you know, like, take one of um, take one of each, you know, so you can try in a different years, you know, as, as it progresses. And of course, it's tough to do that, right? You can't take, unless you take a case of each one, and, yeah. you know, then... That's what I say, get twos, bottles of twos. Drink one, and then... After several years later, and pop the other one up. See, that's a good, that's a good tip. <laughs> they come in pairs. Diamond Mountain Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a nice little mountain fruit. 100% Cabernet. Diamond Mountain. A little earth, a little minerality in there. Yeah, it's dark nice. Berries, dark cherries. No problem. How much is the, uh, oh, hey, it's, yeah, it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> it's coming at us. Yeah. And you it? Yeah, how long, um, how much is the Hell Mountain cap? Hell Mountain is uh, $115. That's not a bad price. It's really good quality. Yeah. So I have a Star Vineyard. The Star Vineyard is brand new to us in 2016. We luckily got a contract with them. They are located here in Rutherford. I think somebody gave me a bottle of that one right there. And I forget what that one's called. Latitude. The fortitude? Fortitude. Yeah, that's what they gave me mm -hmm. uh, for Christmas. Nice. I got the fortitude. I don't even know how much that is or what it's in it, but it was very pleasant. It changes every year. It was very smooth. Very, very smooth. Probably the 14. Yeah? The 15. Yeah, has I think it was. Structure to it. The 15 has 18% Cabernet and 17% Malbec. So it gives it that nice little pepper bite in there. The 16 as well as um, got Malbec, but the 14 and 15 all 100% Cabernet. Nice. Star Vineyard, nice and smooth, easy drinking. I like to call it the adult fruit punch because it's that light, that easy. Adult <laughs> fruit punch. You know, I haven't been drinking wine in a while, so going back to Cab, I, I was at uh, Linmar in Sonoma County yesterday doing a you know drinking, and uh, I actually became a wine club member. I love that place. I love the Chardonnay. The Pinots are very, um, what do you call it? They never change. You can, they kind of keep it. They keep it. Again. They char the Chardonnays changed a little bit. They kind of yeah. switch from one to the other. You know when I taste it, but um, it's more and more of a Pinot Chardonnay house. Yeah. And. Um, even that was a little kind of difficult, you know, I haven't been drinking for about a year, so now my palate is playing tricks on me. <laughs> Everything's bold right now. Yeah. I remember when I was drinking so much one day, I went tasting and everything was like juice. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a problem. Like it has to do with the year. 16 is a very unique year. A lot of, a lot of bold wines this year. Oh, really? Uh, or not really much this year. We're in 2020, but yeah, 16, <laughs> I feel like we um, got more structure to it, more earth, more, more good, how are you? <laughs> boldness to the uh, that year. Fifteens definitely are a lot lighter, a lot smoother. Last time I was here, thank you. Last time I was here, somebody was talking about your winemaker was somebody that was actually making wine for different wine houses or different vineyards. Um, so our founding winemaker, Tom Rinaldi, uh, he started us in 1999, and he, the backstory with Tom Rinaldi is he did 22 vintages at Duck Corn moved over and then he came over here, started us in Provenance, retired in 2013, but he still makes wine in the valley. Um, he what was his name? Tom Renault. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I heard. 43rd vintage he's done so. Something like that. He's, he said he's retired, but he's still working. Tom Renault. Yeah, well, like I was over hearing somebody talk about him and I was here tasting the one time. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't really remember the name, but... Uh, yeah. I know he's done, I know he does wine for some uh, place in Petaluma as well. Yeah, yeah, he's still in the valley doing, I think he has a, he does stuff up in Washington, um, he does some stuff here in the valley, um, and, and so makes his magic. <laughs> makes it work. And this is Sleeping Lady, by the way. Sleeping Lady. And this is, um, Silk in the Glass. Oh, nice, Silk in the Glass. And is this, uh, what do you call it, um, a cab also? Mm -hmm. yep. Another Cabernet. Yeah, this is a lot smoother. How would you describe this one? I mean, besides the silk, do you taste yeah. any, any any other flavors in there? Um, 
the flavor wise, you're gonna get those nice ripe cherries, ripe strawberry, a little bit of raspberry. Uh, definitely, those, it's just, that taste is just right. Like perfect, perfect harvest of, of those kind of berries. Here. Yeah, a lot oh, of berries wow. in there. Good, good stuff. Glass, it's, it's always just right. The reason I ask is because, um, like I said, my, my, my pal has been playing tricks on me. I haven't been drinking so much cab lately. I've been drinking a lot of Pinot, and I haven't been drinking for a year before that, so, so it's, been, it's been a while. I mean, I, I taste here and there, though, but it's not the same as actually drinking, you know? Hmm. This is beautiful. No wonder you guys make such good wine, even at a retail store mm -hmm. level. We're gonna go with Oakville. Just taking it home. They're nice and bold, very earthy, very tannic. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And what's, your, what's like your everyday uh, Cabernet for you that you can drink? For me? Yeah. Uh, I would definitely go for Star. It's easy drinking, it's smooth, it's light, it has that nice little structure in there. It does have a little bit of a tannic bite, but not as much for yeah. me at least. What, what if I was to tell you that I want to take a couple of ladies and lay them down for a while? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they just get better with age. <laughs> they age like good wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is the wine? It's a Cabernet Sauvignon, guys. What are you thinking? Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> I got Kenny Lavin here now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we used to have a, at the castle, we used to have a call like Castellana, the lady of the castle. And I was like, this is the lady you want to take home with you. Yeah. I go, and she may even want to share with you. <laughs> you know, when I had couples, yeah. and they, they just have fun with it. You know, it's all about fun and bringing people together. Yeah, and that's, that's what it is about here. You know, you don't want to sit there and be boring. You want to have yeah. fun and play jokes. Play jokes, exactly. Yeah. Have fun with it. It's, it's ultimately, that's what wine's about. It's about life. It's about bringing people together, right? Mm -hmm. And having a good time. And having a good time and enjoying yourself with, with your company. Or if you want to do that mm. wine glass, or that, that glass of wine by yourself at the end of the night. <laughs> that's the good I thing about wine, though. You can yeah. actually do it by yourself. Kenny's got a point here. You can do it by yourself. You can bring people over. Either way, you can, or you can have a nice steak with it. I mean, there's so many things you can do with wine. It's not like hard liquor, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like hard liquor, too, but... You know, you kind of feel funny when you're drinking by yourself, when yeah. you know, hard liquor. You can have a nice sip of wine and just relax, watch a little TV, mm -hmm. have a nice conversation. This is nice. Yeah. This is actually... Which one was this one? Sorry. That is the Oakville cap. Oakville. You know, I keep... I, I don't think I tried many Oakville. I think I tried a couple of Oakville wines. Mm -hmm. And um, this is probably like the best one I like. Really good stuff, like, like I said, nice structure, cool. earth, minerality, little tan bite in there. The minerality, I like it. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can taste the minerals in this one. In place with your palate, it's like, hmm, what mineral is this? Or, you know, what rocky mountain did it come from, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I grew up in the vineyards, you know, uh, picking grapes and stuff like that. Uncle's, uncle's vineyard manager, and... Um, you know, growing and seeing the actual soil and playing with it and things like that. It's interesting. Alright guys.